Hi everyone, this is Ama Dr. Nada, and today we're going to be covering two very high yield modding topics for Baldur's Gate 3. Learning how to bring in your own upcast spells along with how to make custom feats. We're going to theme this on yet another common but harmless skin condition, Hemangiomas. For step one, make a new class mod with a custom spell following my prior tutorial shown on the screen. Be sure to give yourself level 1 and level 2 spell points at level 1, which will make it easier for us to test in this video. You can do this by adding the code shown on this screen into your boost field, which is in the progressions file. Now, don't give your class the spell through a spell list just yet, because we're going to be doing it through a feat. Like age gives you hemangiomas which are these red vascular lesions that can show up on your skin. For step two, we're going to make our upcast spell. I wish I could more easily upcast what you all voted as being the ideal thing to be more powerful. Elson's muscles, strength, and size, Oakfather, preserve us. This is a more sensitive step, so consider testing after we finish this part rather than at the end of the tutorial. Like always, there is a text tutorial available at the pinned comment. For part A, open up the stats editor and open up the file for the spell that you made. For part B, we'll set fields that are relevant for upcasting. Go to the tooltip upcast description field, field AQ, and set it to additional damage. Then set the nearby tooltip upcast description parameter field AR to the bonus you plan to add. So a few more rolls of a d6 as shown. For part C, we make our upcast spell. Copy the line of your spell and then paste it into a new line, renaming it something convenient, like putting a number 2 at the end in field A. So fire Angioma 2 for this tutorial. Set the parent field, field B, to the base spell. So fire Angioma here. For part D, we're going to make our upcast spell special. Go to the spell success and spell fail fields where columns U and V and change the damage. I changed 8d6 to 12d6. For part E, we'll update the text that shows up in game to reflect the changes that are linked to our upcast spell. Change the description params field or column AG for the second level to 12d6. Also set the tooltip damage list column AL to 12d6. For part F, which is optional, we can also change the use cost field field BJ to use a level 2 spell point, so you can set it to the following shown on the screen. For part G, the last step, we link our upcast spell to the original one. Change the root spell ID field, column CG, to your spell formatted as spell type underscore name like in the spell list file from step 1's tutorial. Here, projectile fire angioma. Also set the power level, column CH, to 2. Only make these changes in the upcast spell. Like calling on a pathologist and only a pathologist to definitively know what something is under the microscope. So if we wanted to look at an angioma under the microscope, we can see all these blood vessels proliferating in the layer just below the outermost layer of the skin. On to step three, we need to make a passive that will give our class the upcast spell. We have to do it this way because I couldn't find a good way to do this solely through a feat. Because while you can technically give a spell through a feat, I wasn't able to give the upcast spell too. Fortunately, this is pretty strange straightforward. You can learn how to start making a passive using my prior tutorial shown on the screen. Now, all we have to do is the following. First, create a new row in your passive file by naming your passive. Second, give it a display name and description. Third, set the boost field, column U, to the following, giving your spell and its upcast levels. The add children parameter is essential to ensure that your upcast level is Given. Contrary to treatment for hemangiomas, which generally don't require any special treatment, but can of course be surgically removed for people who don't like them. For step four, we finally get to making our feet and the feet descriptions files. Part A, go back to the UUID object editor. 
Then click on the plus next to Feats to make Feats and Feat Descriptions files, while leaving a comment on the tutorial topic that you would like to see next. For part B, we'll make our feat. Make a new feat called Vasculum. In the Passives added field, add your passive. Set can be taken multiple times to know. For part C, go to the Feat Descriptions file and paste the Feat UUID into the Feat ID field, set your display name and description for in-game, and put your Feat name field into exact match. Step 5 will enable us to test, but it will also show you how to allow your custom class to receive Feats, which I didn't cover in any of my prior videos. Go to Progressions and set Allow Improvement to Yes on the levels you want to select a new feat. I chose level 3. Step 6 is to test. Load up your class and character creation in the toolkit, as shown by my prior tutorial shown on the screen, and use Control shift l to give yourself a few levels. Then. Level up and select your new feat. When you click your new spell in game, you'll see that you can cast your upcast spell. As you saw, making upcast spells and custom feats can be straightforward. I wouldn't underestimate upcast spells in the toolkit because they can be a little tricky to make them work once you start to play around with them. This video though should provide you what you need to start making amazing things. And if you have any questions, of course, just leave a comment and I'm happy to do what I can to help. Out. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and consider joining my Patreon group. It helps me a lot and it really does motivate me to make more of this content that doesn't get as many views. Thanks for watching and Starship out. She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Susa Bark took priority.